out of the offense. So it's good when you have some back and forth, certainly a lot to clean up. Um, Got to continue to be work to be a tough team. You know, we see flashes of it. We have to be consistently tough, but can open it up from there. Yeah, okay. Dan, can you talk about Makai joining the team and, and kind of how that process came about? Yeah, Makai wanted to play football, and we want to give him a chance to see if he can. You know, it's been a long time. He hasn't really played since his freshman year in high school, but you can't coach fast, right? He's fast. Uh, we'll see what he's able to do out there for us. But you have to give Jerry to make that happen. What's that? Would you have to give Schumacher to make that happen? No, Jerry's a team guy, right? Jerry and I talked before, and he said, yeah, if this is something he wants to do, then th this is something we want to let him do. You know, it's our job to see if it's going to be a fit for him because he's obviously got a long career ahead of him in, in track. Uh, that doesn't change, right? And that's certainly his first priority, but right now it gives him an opportunity to see what he can do. What was his previous experience? You know of you know, yeah, he hadn't had a lot of experience since his uh, you know really his freshman year in high school, right? They played wide receiver in a wing T <laughs> offense. He's pretty good when you give him the reverse, right? So it's a little bit different. There's a lot of catching up to do, and uh, you know there's a lot of things to, to pick up. Have but you he's, lined up he's, him? He's came here with a, a great attitude, and um, he's working his tail off. We'll see what happens. Have you put him uh, in a race with Roderick yet? We have not. <laughs> no, we have not. He's, does he count against the 85? Not right now. What have you seen from Kyler from last year to this year that, you know, just going to grow a little bit? Yeah, well, today he had a big catch in two minutes, right? There was kind of a tip ball, had a big catch in two minutes to keep the drive alive and give the offense a chance to go down there and poke in a field goal to, uh, to win. So, um, you know, Kyler continues to improve. Um, he continues to become more and more consistent. He certainly worked really hard. Um, and looking for him to continue to make big strides moving forward. How important do you think that, that early year, the early enrollment was for him just kind of get a jump start on things? Yeah, I think anytime you can get here and get work, it's going gonna, it's gonna to give you a chance to be better. So uh, Kyler's certainly somebody that benefited from that. Last week, Evan mentioned at Media Day how you had been talking to him about becoming more of a leader. You know, what have you seen from him in that regard this past week? Yeah, just more vocal. Um, and, you know, you don't always have to lead with words. Sometimes you lead by action, right, in the way that you do things. But I, I guess I would say this, for anybody that's entered our program, I'm not looking for anyone to take a back seat to someone else. Right? When you're in our program, if, I don't care if you're a freshman or a senior, you've got the opportunity to lead by what you do every single day. You have a lot of guys who are obviously who can you know, return kicks, punts, capable of doing that. What are you looking for in particular from, from that the main punt or kick return? The guy that can catch the ball, right, own the ball, and then score. Do you do any live returns in the Saturday scrimmages? Probably not. So the offense got the better of the defense a little bit. What other skill players, aside from Kyler, kind of stood out today making some big plays? There were several. I don't know that I could just pick one. Um, you know, Bo performed well today, did a good job taking care of the ball. But there's, we had some really explosive runs um, from Noah and Bucky. But Jaden Lamar had a big run as well. So um, had some passes down the field. There were plenty of guys that, that uh, stood out. What kind of progress have you seen along the offensive line of just guys jailing, getting continuity because it's so many new faces? Yeah, they've done a really good job there. I think Coach Terry's done a really good job. You know, Coach Cab and Coach Cutter working all together have done a really good job of building that unit to the way it's supposed to look. What do you think of the physicality of that? Yeah, we're banging. We're banging a little bit today. Um, we were kind of uh, had an emphasis too on celebrating. There was a lot of celebrating going on the sidelines, um, which is a positive. Um, yeah, we had physical practice. Why is that important to have that celebrating? What does that do for you? It all goes back to our DNA traits of connection, right? It's uh, We want to be able to celebrate together. You're not going to be able to play this game as individuals, right? You have to play together. Tony yesterday said Ben Roberts has taken a big jump from where he was at this point. What have you seen from him? Yeah, I think a lot of players going into year two have the opportunity to do that because they're they're not their head's not spinning. They're not like a chicken with their head cut off anymore. And Ben's certainly a guy that knows where he's going now and what's his job. Um, he's done a good job of learning his assignments and then executing. So when you're able to do that, when you know what you're doing, right, you can start playing with violence and speed that you need to play with. How do you go about coaching or instilling individual confidence? Like if a player is just either you know, they're young, they haven't quite done it yet, or even a guy who's been around like a Jordan Birch, how do you instill? Go about instilling that more, getting that out of a guy. When they do a good job, you tell them good job. <laughs> that is, Pretty simple. simple. That, yeah. yeah. What have you seen from Mateo so far? What are some things he's been doing well in practice in the first few days? Yeah, it's just you know, for a guy coming in as a freshman to be able to pick up the scheme like he has. You know, once you know the scheme, just similar to Ben, you're going to be able to play a lot faster. He does, he has a lot of natural ability, um, but him picking that up, I think, allowed him to kind of excel. What have you seen from the punting competition so far? Yeah, we charted every single day. Uh, I don't think there's a clear leader yet. Um, and then again, you need to get more more punts with pressure too. So once that happens, I think we'll have a clearer picture of what that looks like. What's the goals that you've got for, to set up for Saturday scrimmage and just the things you want to see before then and things you want to see? Yeah, specific. just our ability to play fast. We've still got a couple more situations that we want to hit um, before we get there. But the ability to execute our offense and defense fast, right? Special teams at a fast level and, and, and a high level of execution.
How has Nico Reed kind of adjusted to this quarterback room, and where, where, how has he been so far in fall camp? Yeah, he's picked it up fast. Um, you know, he's had some wins, he's had some losses, but he's able to learn from every single one of them, which is important. All right, let's do it. Thanks, Thanks Thank you.